ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful day, a surprisingly beautiful day in Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> I am heading to a public auction. If you guys saw, I picked this thing up uh, for Andy from Odessa. And look, Speedo works, but the temperature gauge doesn't work and the oil pressure does not work. Yesterday, the Speedo wasn't working. The windshield is pretty busted. The truck is pretty dirty overall. <clears throat> and the exhaust has a rattle at a cold idle. And look, we can sell the truck as is. It's just with potential issues. Um, I mean, not issues, but like the known issues. <clears throat> It will be very kind of difficult to get top dollar for it. So I guess uh, strictly in the interest of time, in order not to waste my time, a buyer's time, Andy's time, we're just gonna drop it off at the public auction that's happening in like a week and a half. It's a monthly auction and I guess see what happens to this thing there. Um, I honestly kind of don't know what's, uh, What's gonna happen today? I mean, I have things planned, but I'm just gonna take you guys with me. Uh, you know, the whole point of me posting videos, this channel, is kind of how to grow a dealership and the steps I'm taking, and I'm literally showing you guys everything. Open book, there isn't, you know, great purchases that I made and I didn't share, or bad purchases that I made that I didn't share everything my ups and downs are laid out in front of you guys and on a very happy positive note yesterday I got approved for financing which means I feel like the lady her name is Natalie she called me to kind of set everything up and I've just been so busy um, so once I get back to the office I'll need to give her a call back she'll walk me through the whole financing the pricing you know the uh, credit score brackets and basically everything that's kind of included in that and uh, I will need to learn because I never worked for a dealership uh, so I almost have like no experience in in that aspect I've been doing cash sales um, so now I need to learn everything about the financial aspect of running a dealership so I can start financing my customers and hopefully sell cars quicker which will result in me buying an exotic that's still on my goal or on my list and the goal is by the end of this year to get some kind of exotic I have no idea maybe an Audi R8 maybe a AMG GT who knows maybe a like older Lamborghini I have no idea but I guess we'll see what will happen with the channel with the business and if I'll be able to make it happen um, but for now yeah we're going to the public auction I'm gonna have Andy pick me up from there and I guess we'll see what will happen today so guys stay tuned subscribe Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys joining. Those people that follow the channel, thank you. I appreciate your support. And I guess we'll see what will happen this whole year. Showed up to the auction and I'm waiting for Andy. To grab my gangster dealer plate. Um, this is the truck. I mean, it's a nice truck, pretty clean. It could use a car wash. It has some bird doo-doo like on the back, on the side right there, on the window. But tires are in pretty good shape and see once it warms up, uh, there is no exhaust rattles. Plus you have the spare tire and this big toolbox which we don't have a key for. Let's see. It's pretty dirty but like, it's a work truck and I'm assuming it was traded in and whatnot. Uh, these are mats for the Oldsmobile van, which I have another buyer for it today. And that's paperwork because I have to make a brand new IA account. Which is honestly so, so, so dumb. I am really annoyed with IA. I went in and they still had my old address on file and I was like, yo, can you guys update it? And she goes, yeah, just send me your 
you know, new dealer's license and we'll get it updated. So I email it to her and within like two hours I get an email from their main office saying, hey, fill out this application and we will get your account set up. And I'm like, what? Why can't you guys just update the address? Because that's literally all it is. Dealer number is the same, dealership name is the same. Like literally nothing changed but the address. Like it's that simple, just update it and move on. I get her email response from her and she goes, you have until March 13th to submit the application or we will deactivate your account. What? So, I printed off the paperwork, started doing it, and I was like, hey, let me see what's going on in Seattle. Let me see what kind of cars I can find in California. I go in there and this chick completely wiped my account and I only have access pretty much to bid in Oregon because any other state that I bid on, I have to pay a sales tax, which Oregon doesn't have a sales tax and previously I didn't have a sales tax for those states, but she like literally wiped my account. So now I have to resubmit all the paperwork. Like so annoying, multi-million dollar companies and they can't make a simple address update. I'm sitting here waiting for Andy and I always played this game. What car is he gonna show up on? Just because he has a lot of cars and just like for me, his cars change almost daily, but you know, my budget is here and his is like way up there. But he did pick up a 2020 GMC, uh, I think 3500 diesel or maybe a 1500 diesel. I don't know, but it's a diesel brand new GMC truck. So we'll see if that's what he's rolling on today. Andy just called, said that his brother just ran out of gas. So I am heading back to the lot. Look at this. How am I supposed to see anything out of here? What a blind exit. Whatever, we're going for it. Nice. And a burnout. Woo! Anyways, I'm going back to the law. I'm gonna grab the title for this thing and then head back and hopefully they'll give Andy enough time to get some gas for his brother and whatnot. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, I'm assuming I'm doing about 55, 60, because I ain't really passing no one, but it's showing I'm not moving. I will not mess it up this time around. And I will go the way I need to go. That's right. It's actually a pretty cool bridge. Narrow, really tight turns. Voila. Alrighty, I got what I needed and we are heading back to the auction, so stay tuned. I just noticed that all of these lights don't work. And our people of Portland actually figuring it out. No way. This is craziness. Look at that, everyone's taking turns. Nope. That was out of line. Let's see how mine goes. Okay, we gotta let these people pass and then those people pass. And this guy's going, I don't know where he's going. Now this guy goes. Yup, no, 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 oh, come on. You guys are so, 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 so dumb. This is how you do it. And I just realized something. We gotta head back that way. <laughs> Look at this line, dang. There's like no end to that. I am pulling up. Here's the auction. Yup, there's Andy's truck. There it is, and there's Andy himself. Oh, I got your beauty right here, Andy. There we go. I guess we decided to have some breakfast. Elmer's. Should I bring any Tabasco? 
Ooh, I'll take some. Okay. What do you guys have? Do you have? I have um, Cholula, Tabasco, the Chipotle Tabasco, the green Tabasco. I've got. I'll do that. Segregation. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And now it's been sitting for like a week and a half again. And here we go. Just not enough juice. I just really, 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 oh, thank you. I was gonna say, I hope I didn't take it somewhere and didn't return it. My clamps are a little too big for those battery terminals. So it's a little awkward to clamp on. Ah, oh, see, and it just came off. And see, it starts super easy, super quick. And this is how I had to clamp it on, like literally by a thread. See that? That's all it took. The Mustang is actually why I brought the jump box to my lot. Like mechanically, this thing is great. Took it through DQ, and I personally drove it for a little while, because I was waiting for the title from Oregon for it. But for the sake of potential customers, I should probably go open that face fence all the way. Let's actually do that. For the sake of my customers, I'm gonna take it around the block and let the battery charge up let's get this opened up all the way like so let's see is today the day that i sell this thing so i did almost 300 miles on this car since i got it and i haven't had a single issue with it except now you know it's sitting for a while and the battery being kind of dead but that's no big deal, honestly. Strong runner. I have always done very, very well with Mustangs. This is like my probably 13th one. And this is the one that's taken the longest to sell. So I don't know if Mustangs are dropping in demand or what, but Look, uh, in Seattle, pretty much same mileage, same engine, automatic, just different color. Car, at a dealer auction, went for 5,800. I have this one listed at like 4,400 bucks. I'm getting interest, but you know, clearly I still have it. But, you know, what is that dealer gonna sell it for? If they paid 5,700 plus auction fees, plus they gotta make some money on top, crazy markets moment of truth was that enough of course it was this thing is awesome it has been a wonderful day beautiful day i did not sell the mustang they came out looked at it it's kind of kind of weird but um yeah they liked this said thanks for your time and they left so I am about to also leave. So guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe and I hope you stick around for more awesome content. See you guys in another video. Have a blessed day.